from this to this. Today I'm going to show you incredible photographs. Photographs taken long, long, long time ago before any of you was born. Photographs that will show you the incredible beginnings, the humble beginnings of Lira City. Let's go to my laptop. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. I came across this piece of paper, this document, scanned document the other day, and I thought it was very intriguing. On it, it's written, Report on the Lango Show, an Earth Exhibition, held at Ireda Lira during November 18th to 24th, 1936. <laughs> I think many of us were just a concept. In 1936, none of us was born. We were all still concepts, just. <laughs> now, accompanying this document were a few photographs, very interesting photographs. Let me show them to you right away. This apparently was the cover. And it uh, seems there was a trade show in Lira at Ereda in 1936. By the way, Ereda, for those of you who don't know, the word Ereda is the Lango word for a trade show. I'll talk about that another time. Ereda means trade show. That Ereda location you see is, is, is a location where colonial administration used to all trade shows for Lango from. And that's where the school got its name from. I'll do that another time. But just know that Ireda in Leblanc means trade show. So apparently there was a show there, a trade show, in 1936. And as you can see in this photograph, the workers, workers are putting up a stall for, for, for the trade show. Very interesting. Imagine this is how they used to do stalls for trade shows. <laughs> Yeah, it is it is very contrasting to what you'd expect from a trade show these days. So yeah, workers, this is interesting. If to imagine that this is the the location of Ereda Primary School, it, it's 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 very interesting. Just imagine Ereda Primary School is now sitting where these tall were in 1936. So this is the first photograph I wanted to show you. That show the humble beginnings of Lira City. This is how we began. Nothing much. This is how we began. This is now after the, the stalls were ready and the show had begun. This apparently is a is is some someone was showcasing bees, beehives. Those are beehives you're seeing. And if you if you read these writings down here, it says preparing the entomological stall. So they were, now the, the, the stalls were complete and the, 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 the exhibitors were now, now bringing in their things to display. So just, just look at it. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> this is another interesting one. The government at the time, the Minister of Agriculture at the time, whatever it was called, was exhi exhibiting to Lango farmers how to use oxen for plowing. I talked to some elders and they concurred. They, they, they said, yes, plowing with oxen, plowing, was introduced in Lango around that time, yes, around 19, 1930s. See how farmers had gathered to, 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 to marvel at this modern technology. I, they were, I think they were all intrigued and hey, so these animals we keep for milk and meat and marriage can also plow and actually better than human beings. It, it, it must have intrigued them a lot. It must have been, you know, the, 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 the talk of the show. Everyone went home talking about it, what they show. Look at this one. Look at this number here. So now this, this, this must have been the showgoers. Eh? They had come to town. You know, word went throughout Lango that there is going to be an Ereda in Lira 
people were coming for Anne Reda, the show. Now people came from all, all, all corners of Lao and look at them, look at this mammoth. And uh, th this is very interesting. These are all Lango people. Eh? And it's quite a gathering. Just, just look at that. Now look at this one. Look at this one also. This, is, this youth here, this boy here is, is showing off his, his ability to, to, to weave basket or something. <laughs> These are showgoers. Eh? They had come to town to, 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 to attend the show. The Ireda show. <laughs> this is how we, be, we started. This is Lango. This is Lira City. This is happening in Lira City in 1936. Very interesting. But the best, the best one I wanted you to see is this one. <laughs> you imagine this one. Modern buildings coming up in Lira City. It, it, it was a trading post at that time, not yet even a town council. But now we, we, we call it Lira City. Eh? Imagine this was uh, one of those modern buildings coming up. Because traditionally, this is not how Lango people build. Eh? There's another way we build. So these were modern buildings you know, coming up in Lira City, 1936. <laughs> Just look at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now let's leave 1930s alone. I don't have anything for 1940s. But this particular one was taken in 1958. It is uh, uh, where I found it, it was uh, someone suspected it. It must have been taken by a, a police officer at that time. There was a police officer who, who had a photograph, a Muzungu police officer. So he was the one taking some of his pictures. This one was taken in 1958. If you look carefully, you're going to see uh, that uh, uh, the, the street, this is Obote Avenue. And the building on the left is where, where um, Africel used to be housed. The one in the center, the one in the middle. In the 1980s, when we were growing up, it was uh, owned by, uh, by a museum called Murungu. But if you look carefully, the streets are freshly made. The, 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 the tarmac is fresh, freshly made. You, you, you are going to see rocks in the background there, that hip rocks. That tells you that there is some civil work going on on the streets. Very interesting 1958 photo. Of Lira. This is how we began. But it's still like this up to today. This one has not changed. It's still like that. This humble building, this, this humble structure you're seeing here was a, was a landmark in Lira City when Lira was still a town council. It was a landmark. It's a serious one. There's no way you could miss this building because it was a bus shed. I'm not sure which bus company was, was, was honing it because there were three or four prominent bus companies in, 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 in Lango at the time. There was the Uganda Transport Company, UTC. Then there was Uganda People's Transport. Then there was Northern Province Bus Company. Then the other one was Owenkibul Bus Services. Now, it definitely didn't belong to Winky Bull. That one I'm almost sure. But one of the three bus companies owned this structure you're seeing. And somehow they all painted themselves green. So it's very difficult to tell which one did. If you know, please tell me in the, com in, in the comment section. If you knew the bus company that was owning this shed here. It was there in 1985. The location is what is currently Kidgum Stage. And the exact location is now being occupied by a building that until a few years ago, I'm recording this in 2022, but until a few years ago, this spot was occupied by a very popular nightclub called 24-7. This is the exact location of 24-7. This is where the structure is. And in, the 19, in 1985, this is how it looked like. There was a very popular bar. One of those buildings we are seeing behind there was called Kulhin. 
cooling bar. If you if you if if you are not seen in cooling, then you are not cool. Cooling was the place to be. So this is 1985, Lira City. From 1985 to this is 1993. I took this one. It was me who took the photograph. I had just bought my first camera, Yashika point and shoot camera. I was excited, so I was shooting everything. <laughs> so I remember it very well. I did this photo in 1993. Look at how Olera has always been a bicycle town. Eh? Not many cars. Now you can't ride a bike in the middle of the street like that. You can't ride your human energized bicycle in the middle of Obote Avenue because this is Obote Avenue. It hasn't changed much. It still look like this. As I said earlier, there is no hurry to change an historic landmark like this. There is no hurry. Even if you leave it like this, if you go to some countries, you go to Italy, they have buildings of 4,000 years ago. 2,000 years before Jesus was born, then another 2,000 years after Jesus has died, the buildings are still there. So why don't we keep ours also? So there, there is nothing wrong in keeping them the way they are. I'm not ashamed. But this is how our street, this is how Bot Avenue looked in 1993. Still around the same time, where Don Petrol Station is sitting now it used to be Caltex. Caltex is no longer operational in Uganda. They left. I think they sold their operation to, to, to Shell. But this is where Caltex used to sit in, in the early 90s. And this, I've done a contrast. This is how it looks like now. It is now Dawn Petrol Station. The uh, one elder told me that the person who owned this, this, this Caltex building was called Nazarali. It was an Indian called Nazarali. See the contrast, very beautiful. Then this one, early evening, Uhuru Bar in Lira City. This one you can recognize. This is just recently. But this is how our city now looks. Then if you move deeper into the city center, this is what you should expect. You know, taxi ferrying things apparently brought from the villages or to the villages. We still don't have that ultra modern, you know, ultra metropolitan lifestyle. It's still a, a city in the making. But we shall get there. Uh, you will see in early evening traders coming back from the village markets with the produce mostly to sell. This is how our city looks like. But having said that, remember where we came from. Do you still remember this photo? <laughs> modern, 1933, very modern. Your know, people workers are doing their work there. We've been here. This is where we came from. But ladies and gentlemen, come 2023, this is what you should expect. This probably is going to be the most modern shopping mall in the whole of northern Uganda. Listen to this. 200 cars will be able to park here. If they were going to divide them into small, small shops, it was going to accommodate 500 shops. And by the way, already 300 people have already booked. Around 300 people have already booked. Four floors, one underground to make five. This will change the skyline over Lira City forever. And it will, this is now the, the benchmark. From here on, Lira City will never be the same again. Before you go, I need two things from you. One, subscribe if you haven't done so, and don't just subscribe. Click on that notification bell. It's very important. That is one. Two, I want you to join my inner circle. Please do that by clicking the link below. There is a link below this video and you'll be taken to a web, web page that will be guided on what to do. Please do that immediately. Don't go before doing that.